Manik Malhotra and Nandini Malik are famous actors and have done many movies together. They have an electrifying chemistry but they hate each other. Despite the fact that Manik Malhotra and Nandini Malik had acted together in countless movies and were adored by millions of fans for their amazing on-screen chemistry, they couldn't stand each other in real life. From petty arguments to full-blown shouting matches, these two were like oil and water, their personalities clashing at every turn. But despite their mutual hatred, there was always an unmistakable undercurrent of tension between them, ro, magnetic energy that seemed to draw them together even as they pushed each other away. It was as if their animosity only fueled the flames of their unspoken desire. Today they had to meet the director of their upcoming movie. Manik and Nandini arrived at the director's office, both dressed in their finest attire. As they sat across from each other, the tension in the room was palpable. The director wasted no time in getting straight to business, outlining the details of the movie and the care actors they would be playing. Manik tried to act professional, nodding and taking notes, but all he could think about was how close Nandini was sitting to him. She was breathtakingly beautiful, with long, luscious hair and curves that would make any man weak in the knees. He couldn't deny the fact that he was attracted to her, despite their tumultuous relationship. Nandini, on the other hand, was trying her best to ignore Manik. After discussing the script they decided to start the shoot from next week. After a week, Nandini was getting ready for the first scene where as Manik was as usual late. Nandini headed to the set, where the crew was setting up for their first scene together. Suddenly her leg slipped and she was about to fall but a held her. She thanked the person while the director came towards Nandini and said, Nandini this is Rayanj Kapoor. He is going to be the second lead in the movie. At the same time Manik sauntered in, looking as gorgeous as ever. His hair was disheveled and his shirt was unbuttoned at the top, revealing a tantalizing glimpse of his chest. The director called everyone to their positions and they began filming the scene. Manik and Nandini's characters were supposed to be in love but were separated due to an misunderstanding and Rayan's character was supposed to come in and try to win Nandini over. As they began filming, Manik couldn't help but feel a twinge of jealousy as he watched Nandini and Rayan's characters interact. He knew it was just for the movie, but he couldn't help but feel possessive of her. Nandini, on the other hand, was struggling to keep her focus. Manik was standing just a few feet away from her, his intense gaze making her heart race. She tried to remind herself that they hated each other, but it was proving to be difficult when he looked at her like that. The scene ended and the director called for a break. Range took this opportunity to get closer to Nandini. He asked her if she wanted something to eat or if she was feeling tired. She politely declined and thanked him for his offer. Manik was watching them with a suspicious gaze. Even though he knew Rayanj was just being friendly, he couldn't help but feel a pang of jealousy in his chest as he watched the two interact. He cleared his throat and said gruffly, let's get back to work. Nandini nodded and they returned to filming their scene, Manik keeping a close eye on Rayanj whenever possible. The rest of the day flew by quickly as they filmed more scenes. Leap of a week in these days Rayanch and Nandini had formed a good bond. Today they were flying to Sydney to shoot the rest of the scenes. Reaching the hotel they all went towards their room as they were tired. In Nandini's room. Nandini came out, i.a. bathrobe, feeling relieved to finally be able to relax after a long day of filming. She was removing her clothes from her bag when she balcony door being open and Manik come inside. 
Manik, what are you doing here? Our rooms are connected and I didn't knew that you were staying here. And anyways there isn't anything that I haven't seen Manik said eyeing her up and down, a smirk playing at his lips. Nandini rolled her eyes, already feeling exasperated with him. Can you please just leave? I need to get some rest. Manik's expression grew serious as he stepped closer to her. You and Rain seem to be getting quite close lately. What's going on between the two of you? He said, suspicion in his voice. Nandini felt a surge of anger flood through her veins. What are you talking about? He's just my co-star. We're not doing anything wrong. Manik laughed but it was cold and humorless. Right, so I have nothing to worry about then? I guess I should just forget all the times I have seen you two holding hands or how close he gets when you're talking. Nandini scowled at him before replying, First of all, I can hold hands with whoever I want. Secondly, we are friends and there's nothing wrong with being friendly with your co-actors. Manik shook his head in disbelief. Friends? Is that what they're calling it these days? He stepped closer to her until their faces were inches apart. Even if we had anything, it shouldn't bother you because for you I'm just a co-actor whom you hate, right Manik? Nandini said her voice cold but her eyes couldn't hide her emotions. You are right. Manik said stepping away from her. I shouldn't care about you. He said and went out while Nandini slumped on the bed the complexity of her feelings towards Manik. She knew she shouldn't be attracted to him after all the fights they had, but there was something about him that drew her in. Next morning Nandini was still sleeping as today only Manik had to shoot. Manik was preparing for his scenes. Today he had to perform a stunt. He knew that the director wanted to capture the whole scene in one take so he had to do it perfectly. He could feel the tension in his body as he waited for the signal from the director. The director finally shouted action, and Manik started running towards his destination. The camera followed as Manik jumped over several obstacles, climbed walls, dodged enemies and slid under various objects while shooting at them with a gun. Finally he reached the edge when the director said cut but Manik's leg slipped and he fell off the edge. The crew called an ambulance and they took Manik away for medical attention while Nandini's manager went towards her room to inform her about the incident. Nandini reached the hospital saw the director talking to the doctor. She was about to ask the doctor about Manik's health when her phone rang. Manik's sister-in-law Sia was calling her. Nandini, Beta, how is Manik? Is he okay? Sia's voice was laced with worry. Nandini assured her that Manik was getting the best medical care and that she would keep her updated. As she hung up the phone, Nandini despite their fights, she still cared about Manik and didn't want anything bad to happen to him. She entered the room and saw Manik sleeping due to the seductive given to him by the doctor. Nandini sat down beside him, watching him as he slept. She noticed how peaceful he looked and couldn't help but feel a twinge of guilt for the way she had treated him. She knew she had been harsh with him, but she couldn't help it. The way he made her feel was too complicated and confusing. As Manik began to stir, in he opened his eyes and looked at her, confusion evident in his gaze. Nandini, what are you doing here? he asked, his voice hoarse from the sedatives. Sia Bhabi had asked to check on you. I will call the doctor. Nandini replied, trying to keep her voice steady and was about to go out but Manik held her hand. Nandini, why do you hate me so much? I know whatever I did was wrong but how long will you punish me? 
Why can't we just talk and sort it out? Because there is nothing to talk, Manik. And you should take rest now. Nandini said and went out to call the doctor. Meanwhile, Manik was thinking about their past. Flashback. Manik and Nandini had studied in the same college. Nandini was Manik's junior who had caught his eye from the very first day. He was the cool and popular guy, while she was the shy and reserved one. But there was something about her that drew him in. They had started dating soon after, but their relationship was always rocky. Once Nandini and Manik had a fight as Manik being a possessive boyfriend had hit a guy who tried to flirt with Nandini. Other side Nandini was upset as Manik was spending his time with his best friend Esha. In college party. Due to their fight, Manik and Nandini had arrived at the party separately. Manik came with Esha while Nandini with her cousin brother Ayan. As soon as Manik saw Nandini, he couldn't take his eyes off her. He wanted to go to her and make things right between them, but before he could do anything, Asha dragged him away to the dance floor. Nandini saw them dancing and laughing together, and a pang of jealousy washed over her. She tried to ignore it and enjoy the party with her cousin, but she couldn't help but feel hurt by Manik's behavior. Later that night, when Nandini was about to leave, she saw Manik and Aisha saying goodbye to each other. Aisha hugged Manik tightly and whispered something in his ear that Nandini couldn't hear. Manik who hadn't seen Nandini went towards his car. Next day Manik's parents died in a plane crash and Nandini went to Manik's house but Aisha was there, comforting him so she left from there while Manik thought that Nandini wasn't there. A month after Manik's parents' demise, Manik saw Nandini in their college library, when Nandini was working on some project with another guy. Leave Manik said looking at the person Nandini was working with. The guy looked up, surprised, but quickly gathered his things and left, sensing the tension between Manik and Nandini. What do you want, Manik? Nandini asked. Her voice laced with annoyance. I want to talk to you, Manik said, his voice low. About what? Nandini asked, still not looking at him. About us, Manik said, stepping closer to her. There is no us, Manik, Nandini said, finally turning to look at him. Not anymore. And anyways, why are you here? Don't you have to spend time with your so-called best friend Aisha? Why are you dragging her in this matter? She is just my friend, Manik snapped, his frustration seeping through his words. This is about us, Nandini. You and me. Because she is always between us, Manik. After she has come, have we talked normally like we used to do? You were always with her that you forgot that your girlfriend. Nandini scoffed and said while Manik looked at her pulling her shoulders, eyes blazing with anger. Am I the only one at fault Nandini? I always loved you but you were never there for me. At least Asha was there. She cared for me unlike my dear girlfriend who didn't have time for me. Manik said his voice cold pushing Nandini away and went out. Flashback ends. The doctor arrived and checked Manik's vitals. He informed that Manik can get discharged after two days. After two days. Nandini continued visiting Manik, checking on his health and meeting the doctor but completely avoided talking with him. Today Manik was getting discharged and the director had given Nandini a break as she had continuous shoot. Manik's manager had come to take him while Nandini went to home wherever elder brother Saad and his wife Rama lived. Nandini knocked on the door and Saad's five years old son Arjun opened it. He looked at Nandini and hugged her tightly. B. I missed you. 
Nandini smiled and hugged him back. I missed you too, Arjun. She looked up and saw Saad and Rama walking towards her. Bhai Bhabi Nandini greeted them with a smile. How are you both? We're good, Saad said. How's Manik doing? He's doing better now, Nandini said. He got discharged from the hospital today. Let's have lunch together. Rama said looking at Saad who nodded and took Arjun with him towards the dining room. Rama sat besides Nandini and said, Did you talk to Manik? Nandini shook her head. No, I haven't. I have been avoiding him. Why? Rama asked, looking at her curiously. Nandini sighed. I don't know. I guess I'm just scared of what might happen if we talk. I don't want to make things worse. But don't you want to sort things out? Rama asked gently. I do, Nandini said, tears welling up in her eyes. But it's just so hard. I don't know where to start. Rama put her arm around Nandini's shoulder. It's okay, Nandini. Take your time. Just remember that sometimes it's better to talk things out than to avoid them altogether. Nandini nodded, feeling grateful for Rama's understanding. Maybe she would talk to Manik after all. Maybe it was time to face her fears and sort things out once and for all. Later Nandini spent the whole day in Malik mansion and Saad dropped her to her set at night. Leap of a month It had been a month since Manik's accident and he had recovered fully. Today Manik and Nandini had to shoot an intimate scene for their upcoming movie. They had not spoken since the accident and tensions were high between them. As they got ready for the shoot, their eyes met and the director said, Action! Manik leaned towards Nandini his hands roaming around her curves but the director wasn't satisfied. He stopped the shoot and said, Cut! Manik, Nandini, can we do that again? This time, I want to see more passion, more chemistry between you two. You're supposed to be in love, remember? Manik and Nandini exchanged awkward glances, both feeling uncomfortable with the situation. They had always been professional on set, but now it felt different. There was a distance between them that they couldn't ignore. Let's take a break, the director said, sensing the tension. Manik, Nandini, can I talk to you guys for a second? Once they were alone with the director, he said, Look, I know that you two have had some issues in the past, but for this scene to work, you need to let go of all of that. You need to trust each other and let your emotions show. Can you do that? Manik and Nandini looked at each other and nodded. Manik think if you saw Mayank, Rayan's character, with Nandini's character then how would react? Rayan said with a smirk knowing that it was enough to break the ice between them. As they got back to the set, Manik took Nandini in his arms. This time, Manik's hands roamed over Nandini's body with more intensity. She let out a soft moan, and he pressed his lips against hers, deepening the kiss with each passing second. It was as if they were the only two people in the room, lost in their own world. Cut, the director exclaimed, clapping his hands. That was fantastic. We got exactly what we needed. I think this scene is going to be a hit. Manik and Nandini smiled at each other, relieved that the scene was over. They went back to their respective trailers, both lost in thought. Manik couldn't believe how good it felt to be close to Nandini again. He had missed her touch, her scent, and her warmth. He wanted to tell her how much he had missed her, but he didn't know how. Nandini, on the other hand, 
was overwhelmed by the emotions that the scene had stirred up inside her. She had never forgotten about Manik, but she had tried to move on. Seeing him again, feeling his touch, had brought back all the memories of their past relationship. She wanted to talk to him, to sort things out, but she didn't know where to start. Later that day, as they wrapped up the shoot and headed back to their respective homes, Manik decided to take a chance. He drove towards Nandini's house. He rang the bell and Nandini opened the door. His eyes went towards Nandini's legs which were visible as she was wearing a long shirt. He gulped and said, Nandini, I know whatever happened in the past, we can't change it, but please, I want to sort out things between us. Nandini just nodded and let him in. Manik took her hand in his and said, Nandini, I know that I have made mistakes in the past, but believe me when I say that I miss you. Every day, every night. You were my first love and no one can take that place ever. I know I have hurt you a lot but please can we start over again? Can you forgive me for all my mistakes? Manik looked at Nandini with hope in his eyes, waiting for her response. Things right. Yes, she said softly. Let's start over. She then apologized for all the pain she had caused him and they talked about their past relationship. She even said that she has come to see him but she saw him with Asha and then next day her grandmother was serious that's why she had to leave to Delhi. Manik pulled her closer into his embrace. He kissed her forehead tenderly as he wiped away her tears. Nandini felt as if a heavy weight had lifted off of her shoulders. For the first time in months she felt content and at peace with herself. She knew that it was going to take time for their relationship to heal but she was happy that they were finally taking steps towards mending things between them. After five months the shooting of the movie completed and it was a big hit. In our award function Manik and Nan were awarded the Best Couple Award. The following week, news of their engagement spread like wildfire, sending shockwaves through their fan base. Everyone was surprised by the sudden development. Some were genuinely happy to see Manik and Nandini together while. Others were skeptical, wondering if their relationship was just a publicity stunt. But Manik and Nandini didn't pay attention to the rumors. They were too busy planning their future together. As they sat in Manik's living room, sipping champagne, Nandini looked at him with love in her eyes. Manik, I can't believe this is happening. I never thought we would get back together, let alone get engaged. I know, Nandini, Manik said, taking her hand in his. But I always knew that we were meant to be together. It just took us a little longer to realize it. Sometimes we just need to talk to sort things out rather than complicating it. So I want you us to promise that we will always share everything and love each other. Nandini said forwarding her while Manik held her hand saying, And you will always be with me. Hamesha Nandini said sealing their promise with a kiss. Manik pulled her closer, deepening the kiss as their bodies pressed against each other. They were lost in their own world, oblivious to everything around them. As they pulled away, panting and breathless, Manik whispered in her ear, I love you, Nandini. Always and forever. The End